Excuses, right? The that that is a really interesting word to say. Uh, you know, you could you could blame the world, you could blame other people, just not yourself, right? Yeah, let's let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so I'm Josh V Castro, you person that's beautiful on the other side of the world or right next door. Uh, this is hashtag Project Nine Minute Video. We are now on actually day. Number six, amazing, right? Uh, yesterday, day five, we talked about why, why, why is important. And did you get that? And yeah, but you know, why is really a good foundation when it comes to things. But you know, when it, when it comes to life, we as humans, I, I, like, I, like, I like putting ourselves in this, you know, uh, species. We are, you know, generalizing if that's the term that I should be using, uh, that, you know, it's by nature, our nature, that we just make excuses. I'm like, you know, it's it's something you probably have done. And, you know, I want to see if we can actually tackle this, this concept, this idea in this video. Okay? So, excuses. Why we shouldn't make them and why you, basically the premise of this is just blame yourself. It's easier that way. Because, you know, by blaming yourself then you actually have control of the situation, right? And if you have control of the situation, then you can fix it, right? But, you know, we're human. We make excuses. We don't like taking on... Most of the times, you don't like taking the, on the responsibility of things that we don't ideal. And then we just push it, you know, we just push it, you know, subconsciously, consciously, maybe making excuses, you don't know, because, you know, excuses has many different forms, okay? And, and it's hard to, it's hard to identify, you know, what it is, because, you know, it could be logical reasons that you're pointing out, you know, uh, it could be an actual excuse because you just want to, you know, stay away from whatever the problem is, because, you know, when there's an excuse, there's always a relative problem that's associated with it. And, you know, you just, you just want to, you just want to, you know, no, not, not today. All right. This is not, this is not my fault, but you know, you have a choice. Choice is probably a good topic, probably another topic, probably a topic for tomorrow. Who knows? But you always have the choice to choose what you do, right? That's basically, that's basically that sums up what it is. So if you have the choice to do what you do, then what's the point of making an excuse if if the the outcome of what you did was because of you and you had the choice to do it, right? So if you had the choice to do it, you could have also had the choice not to do it. Hence, no more need for an excuse. So if you actually blame yourself at the end of the day for whatever outcome or situation you are currently in, all right, I'm like, you know, people like blaming their parents because, you know, they came out of poverty, say, or even people blame their parents because they came out of wealth and then they didn't grow up properly. All right, that's probably a good excuse as well. And, you know, circumstances change and then the environment change and then your ideas growing up will change. But, you know, it does, you know, there is deep factors where you come from. But be it good or bad, all right, that in this whatever situation you're put in is not an excuse to blame your current situation now because you can change that. All right. You can, you know, if you're having a hard time, study, read a book, go to school, go to college, don't go to college, pursue your passion, pursue your dreams, build something. You know, one step at a time because, you know, that's the easiest way to go about that. Just do it one step at a time. Don't don't take on the whole burden because <laughs> that's just going to give you more excuses. And eventually, you'll get to where you want to be. So, no, 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 don't, don't make excuses. All right, I, for one, am a person that wants to ideally not, you know, make excuses. But then, you know. It happens. Uh, it happens most of the time. I'm like, even with me not knowing, that's why you have, you know, your outer circle, because you know they're the third. They're the they're the third perspective, the third person view. They look at you. They see you for who you are as a person. Because sometimes it takes, you know, 
those people talking to them to understand who you are, what you do, who you want to become or how you're perceived by society because that's a thing. And, you know, by talking to them because sometimes, you know, you're clouded, your mind, you think you're this righteous, just person that you think you are. Maybe you are. You strive to be. But yet, from other people's perspectives, you're not. But then you also have to take account their principles, their values, and then maybe it's not aligned with them. So that maybe their opinions don't matter. So it's a whole construct of complicated stuff mushed up together. And it's really hard to explain. But, you know, this simple thing that, you know, is say... um, I wasn't able to or we're gonna go we're gonna go try to make an example here to point out this this idea that I have. Uh, say I I want to no. Say I'm not where I want to be today. Alright. This actually technically applies to me. Alright. It's not I don't wanna this is not where I wanted to be today. Uh there, there was a lot of time wasted. Right? That sucks. And then, you know, I blame it on, I, I like blaming the world because honestly, the world comes up with really amazing things. Do I still have time? Yes, I do. All right. Uh, the world, it just, it just happens, you know, like you're living a day, right? You, all right? you have the schedule, right? It's all plotted out. And then there's these things that happen, maybe an emergency, you know, maybe, you know, a friend wants to hang out, you know, maybe there's this really cool you know, event coming up on Friday, but you have something planned on Friday, but it's a really once-in-a-lifetime epic event that you can't miss. And, you know, everything that you've planned is, is just gone, right? And then, you know, you enjoy the event, you hang out with your friends, everything is fun. Normally, it comes out of pleasure. Or in, in this example, and then you miss the thing that you were supposed to do on Friday, And then now it's Monday, right? And then the thing you should have done on Friday was actually tantamount to the results that would have happened on Monday, but now that's been pushed. And then you're going to blame the world. I would blame the world, all right? Because life happens. That's the thing, life happens. Life does happen. It will happen. It's going to happen, all right? And you have the choice to... Do what you got to do or just ride the flow. Sometimes riding the flow is cool, all right? Being in a state of flow is different. But, you know, riding the waves, being a person with no goal, no objective, no direction. Is that really someone you'd want to be? Really? And then, you know, whatever happens because of the outcomes of those choices, you're going to just blame the world. You know, when you think about it, yeah, that's a person I don't want to be, no? No? All right. I'm not going to say I'm perfect. I'm not going to say that I'm that person yet. But, you know, striving to be. At least I'm not 0% what I don't want to be, right? But I'm more 60% there. You get it? So rather than just not striving to be something, then you're at 0% of the 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 level of which you want to be at but if you're striving for something at least you don't have to get hit 100 right away (laughs) you're not superman but at least you're trying so don't make excuses 